ancestor veneration is a central tenet of African spirituality. The wisdom and guidance of those who came before us are honored and respected. Their spirits guiding us through life's journey. Uh, I want like to know why you decided to come here. You know, despite um, we are moving together, but I was asking myself, uh, which things has pushing me to come to this place? He didn't get the answer. Maybe he can explain to me why you decided to come here. Yeah, I know you wonder why I'm coming to this place uh, to pray for uh, our ancestors. It's because I see that maybe we need wisdom from our ancestors. You know, one thing that uh, um, I think we have made mistakes, uh, it's with the people of Africa. We have left our connection uh, with our ancestors. Uh, because uh, nowadays we are thinking that we are not Africans. Uh, I was trying to find some references to share with my elders concerning how they lived before colonialism. Uh, they have told me a lot of stories that before they have the way to connect with ancestors, when things happen, they know how to communicate with their ancestors. And that's why I take this uh, long route uh, to come to this place uh, to meet with you, my brother, uh, so that you can bring me here uh, to speak with my ancestors. Um, if you look at the continent of Africa today, uh, we have lost innovations. Uh, but if you look in the back, back, backward, uh, during our ancestors' life, are those who invented many things. Today we are talking about uh, the empire of Mali. It's built by Africans. Just imagine those architectures at that time. Great Zimbabwe empire is built by Africans. So we have uh, architectures, great architectures. Uh, we have great innovators. But today everything is coming from uh, outside of this continent. Today we are embracing our Chinese our own technology are going to uh, to disappear. That's why I'm coming to this place uh, to see how I can get wisdoms uh, from our ancestors. You know, as you see, this place is uh, silence. I think and I hope my prayer will reach to the uh, point where our ancestors are, are resting. Uh, you, are, you raised the point of why Africa we are poor. Africa we are poor because we are not organized. You know, Africa we have everything. As you look around, see here, you see where I'm here. But if you look there, you see it is so green, water there, food they are growing. But still Africa we are told we are poor. We are, we are told we are poor. Why? Because sometimes people don't have enough information about the, our mother continent, Africa. So they take a lot of, uh, or they, they, they sample a few places where there is shortage of food. They conclude that Africa, we, are, we don't have food, we are hunger. But all it is because they have few information. But all, you know, if we organize it as the people of Africa, we are coming together, we are sharing our thoughts. I think we will tell the world the truth. And another issue is that Africa are not telling our own stories. Many stories are told by others. You know, uh, nowadays, this is a world where everyone is trying to, to see if uh, it can make business with Africa. So they are trying to speak negative about Africa so that they can make business with us. That's why you see people saying we are poor. Yes, we are poor, but we have resources. How can the person who has resources can be called poor. You have gold, then you are poor. How? And people coming with these papers and bring us to uh, to our banks and our uh, where they put this money, they, they call money, but they took our, our gold, our diamonds. The same people who are saying we are poor. I think we need to change. That's why I say we are not well organized. We need to come together. We need to unite. 
uh, we need to share our thoughts. Uh, another issue is these borders, you know. These borders are making us separate and sometimes making us uh, feel like a donkey. And uh, I mean that we are we, we are putting like in, in custody. You know, there are some small countries, let's say, if we took the country such as Lesotho or Burundi, it's a small country. So if you take the people of Burundi, you put borders. It means those people in Burundi or in Eswatini or so any, even these big countries cannot move from their place because of these borders to get knowledge from other places. And other places, other people in other places cannot move from their places to Burundi or to other places to share knowledge. So these borders also is a big problem to us. So, but all in all, uh, I'm trying to see if I can get a wisdom uh, from our ancestors. But I'm happy you being me here. And I'm happy, of course, my brothers and sisters in the continent, in the diaspora, uh, will be also happy to see that now we are starting to embrace our founding fathers. They have done a great job. We have to appreciate them and to embrace them also. That's over. Yeah, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, we are trying to make things so that um, our young people, uh, African people, to understand uh, why we are uh, we are here, why we are coming to this place. Uh, it is a long journey from our home to this place, but all in all, is to share our thoughts, ideas, and wisdoms, and message to our beloved people in the continent and those who went diaspora concerning about the lead issue of our mother continent Africa. So, uh, thank you for watching, thank you for your time. Of course, it is not an easy task to do this kind of stuff. It is difficult, but all in all, we are sending message to our people concerning about our mother continent Africa. That's what we are trying to do. Uh, there's many ways to send the message, but this is another way that we have decided to use uh, to, to, to send a clear message, uh, to deliver a message to our people uh, in different parts of the continent. So all in all, we are calling for the unity of the continent of Africa, the unity of the people of Africa. Uh, as you see around you, Africa is nice. Africa has everything. Africa is blessed. Uh, what we lack is unity, uh, collaboration, uh, working together. That's what we lack. But if we are talking about resources, Africa has no shortage of resources. Uh, if we talk about um, human capital, Africa has no shortage of human capital. So anything that you need is found here in the continent of Africa. What we lack uh, is maybe wisdoms, innovations, and leadership. And that's why we are here trying to share uh, with you about what can we do as a people of Africa to make sure that we move forward. With those few updates, few things that we shared, let me say thank you for your time. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed what we are doing. Of course, I like to hear from you. Uh, I like your opinion in the comment sections so that uh, maybe we can try to do the best uh, more than today and if we have making mistakes and collectors in order uh, to collect those mistakes and to make a good thing for the next but all in all what we are trying to do is to share our thoughts and idea and to send a clear message concerning about our mother continent Africa thank you